What is up everybody and welcome to a brand new video. Now in the previous videos we have been going to one of the worst dealerships. The only decent enough car we found was the Lada Niva. But nobody else has talked about the car that supposedly Putin gifted to Kim Jong-un. And I thought why should we not visit the dealership of that exact car. The Aurus. The Russian luxurious car now let's hope we don't get kicked out of this place because this is not your usual lada dealership this is not your uaz dealership this is some high class dealerships so let's see if they're gonna attack us or not oh you gotta walk in this way Здравствуйте. А вы не против, если мы поснимаем чуть-чуть? Почему? А? Почему? Не, я просто спрашиваю, почему? So as you could see, the car dealership is very nice to us. They saw that the peasants have walked in two years ago. There were nice people working here that let us check out the previous auras maybe it just depends on the people working here so let's see well we can see that there is a new auras suv here let's check it out while the guy says that we can't be filming let's look how it looks like on the outside can't believe this guys this guy is just like you cannot film here but as you could see there's a huge suv which is called the Aorus. <laughs> the guy doesn't care. He's like on the phone. I was like, can we film or what? He's like, no, we're asking why. And he's saying, I'm talking on the phone. Anyways, let's see what we got here. We got a Aorus Commandant. While the guy is talking on the phone, I'll do a review of the whole car. This is how it looks like. You could see people are checking it out. Uh, because of all the fingerprints this car is very expensive I actually don't know the price of it but it is very expensive and there are little things that reminds us a bit of the UAZ and I will show you what I mean by that and what I mean by that is the quality of the actual car this is like the Russian Rolls-Royce alternative basically has the guy stopped talking on the phone? Not yet. Anyways, let's have a look. Whatever. What do we got here? Иди сюда. While the guy is talking on the phone, we might as well check everything out before we get kicked out. I, it, was, it was too early for me to say that Rolls-Royce dealerships are not as nice as the Aorus. Anyways, let's check it out. I try my best to be nice and ask the dealerships to film, but when they try to break the constitutional rights, whatever. So this is how it looks like. It's a big, huge SUV, which was built in Russia with the hand of UAE. This is how it looks like from the rear. It's one of the biggest, probably, SUVs that Russia has ever built. Look at the guy just sitting down there on the phone still. Anyways, this is how it looks like. Let's see if we can hijack the car. Can we actually get inside? Check out how it looks like. Is it open or is it not? It's closed. You can see it has a key in here that you can get in. Very nice. So talking about the build quality, right? While that guy is talking to us like we're trash. This is how it looks like. I mean, I don't know what can I say about it, but this looks like it's not that great of a quality, to be honest with you. Looks rather crap. I mean, from a standpoint where you look at this car very far away, it looks very nice. I think they just need to master on how to actually get those little details to open this car, because you could see there's a piece of rubber going, then it becomes some sort of a soft thing. There's a lot of things to work about in this car. Also the actual build quality, if you actually look at how the door is placed, it's not placed the best way. Anyways, you know what? 
that guy is definitely not going to be opening the car for us. So let's just have a look around, like peasants around the Oris vehicle. How good is it built? Wow. Can't believe so many things have changed since the last time we came here. Because last time we were here, there was an Oris sedan. You could actually check out the video when there were actually still nice people working at this dealership, showing us around. This is how it looks like. Let's see what the interior looks like. That actually doesn't look that bad. Would be interested to sit down in one of them, but can't. Wow. Can't be filming or getting inside. I can't believe I feel like an absolute peasant. You know what? Screw this. This Aura's brand sucks. You could see how it looks like. I mean, I actually can't believe I was here before and this is what they do. They just be absolute assholes about it. So, yeah. Here's the all new Aura's that we can't check out because this guy over here doesn't want us to be filming anything. Very nice. Very nice. Что простите? А вы можете кого-нибудь адекватного позвать? Я вас не спрашивал снимать вас. Ну. Так у вас права никакого нет. Вы работаете тут. Мы просто попросили снять. Вы сказали нет. Я по телефону говорю. Неадекватные люди. Вот. Here we go. There is the quality of the Oris brand. This guy right here is doing a great job showing how the Oris brand is really competing with the Rolls Royce. Very nice. All of you guys could see what sort of a shitty car this is. I mean, maybe it's a good car, but the people in here, I don't know about it. So I'm not even gonna bother. We're gonna leave this place. And you guys tell me, maybe we should leave a few nice reviews about the Oris cars. So let's get the heck out of here. Because look, he's running away. The guy is literally running away from us. He left us beside the Oris. We got Evelina right here. And this is how it looks like. Can't believe this. We're all left over here beside this Oris that somebody could hijack. Can't believe this. I actually cannot believe that we're talk like trash here and that we can't record this car. You walk into a BMW dealer, no problem. UAZ dealer, no problem. Lada dealer, no problem. Moskvich dealer, no problem. One person can ruin the whole experience of actually checking out Oris cars. And you know what? I'm not even bothered talking about this brand. Screw this brand. Let's get the heck out of here. Well, guys, I'm back home already and I'm very appalled by the fact that Aura's dealership has actually done this to us because two years ago when I was starting up the channel, we went over to the dealership. There was the Aura Senat. You could see a photo somewhere here. It's like a sedan. There's a limo version which the Russian president rides along and it is reported on February 20th, 2024 that uh, the president of Russian Federation actually gifted Kim Jong-un and Aura Senat, which is the sedan version of the car so he'd be driving around north korea it's actually developed both by porsche and russian engineers so basically the actual engine of the Oris is a porsche v8 engine 4.4 liter twin turbo with around like 500 horsepower so this car was built by some russian engineers Porsche engineers and Bosch engineers. Basically, some parts of the engine actually have the Porsche emblem. The car has airbags. And I've talked to one of the managers two years ago uh, when the sanctions just hit in. And I was asking, so how are those cars still going to be produced? And they told us that there are still big shareholders in the UAE and they're able to give the airbags, give the Bosch parts, and all the parts needed to actually build and create the Oris vehicles. Now, the whole idea of this car from the first place was when the Soviet Union, the presidents, drove in a Zil car. And then after that, when Zil went bankrupt and they no longer created cars, the Russian president 
was riding in a Mercedes S-Class limousine Pullman armored vehicle, whatever you want to call it. It's, it was basically a big S-Class limousine. And he thought that, you know, every single country, every single big country has their own luxury vehicle producer. So they thought, why not create their own brand called Aris? They started building the cars. Now the president rides in an Aorus, and a lot of government officials themselves actually ride around in the Aorus Senat, which is the sedan version. I've not seen anybody drive the Jeep version, but considering that those cars cost half a million dollars and the build quality, could you imagine that? If you pay that much money for a vehicle, you really look at the details. I think for half a million dollars, all the details should be completely amazingly done so that you would have absolutely no mistakes in the interior, on the outside looks. But for half a million dollars, an Aorus? Heck no. Rather buy a few Rolls Royces for that price because, I mean, like, come on, guys. I have seen many reviews of this car before. The build quality is poor. Everything just breaks down. Their multimedia system crashes all the time. It's just a big, big mess. And what really amazed me the most is that one guy in the dealership that completely has put a big crest on that car company. Because I think that no matter how you look and who you are, you should be allowed to go in a showroom and check out different vehicles. Just like in BMW. Lada, Audi, wherever you go. Now, I know that this bad experience was just from that guy because two years ago the experience was amazing. I was recording on my uh, iPhone 10 and they opened up the core. They told everything about it and I really enjoyed it. This time, not so much. I tried my best to make a good video for you guys. I really wanted to check out the Aorus to sit inside, look at the details. But it seems like it's not really going to be possible. Maybe another day we will try to go to another dealership. I think there's three in Moscow. We'll see. And I wonder, what type of people buy a half a million Russian car? Tell me, guys. What do you think? Who do you think buys a half a million dollar car in Russia? If you enjoyed this video, I would really like if you could subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment in the comment section below or what you think about this situation. Thanks for watching, and I love every single one of you. See you later, guys.